the first half, uh, the revenues of L'Oréal globally uh, were reduced by uh, 11%, uh, more or less, when in fact the, the sales, the revenues in, in China increased by 17%, which is a huge difference. And there are two reasons to that. The first reason, of course, is that the, the market uh, rebounded much more quickly and strongly in China than in the rest of the world. You know, as you know very well, China was uh, impacted by the uh, epidemic in, uh, in February. And uh, already uh, in March and April, consumption was back, also thanks to the strength of e-commerce that really helped. Digital and e-commerce uh, have been uh, at the core of the L'Oreal strategy for now for uh, 10 years. And, uh, and I have to say that uh, we are uh, ahead of many companies uh, on this aspect. And uh, it is a thanks to uh, all the development that we made in, uh, in China and especially in our headquarters in Shanghai. Uh, Shanghai and China are clearly uh, for us at L'Oreal uh, the the city and the country the most advanced in terms of uh, digital and and, uh, and e-commerce and uh, everything that we are uh, inventing and developing in China uh, after that then we we use uh, in the in the rest of the world so for us uh, all this progress that we made in making in China are super important for our development worldwide we are very happy with uh, as you know with our development in China uh, personally, uh, you know that I, I created the Chinese subsidiary in China 20 years ago, even 23 years ago in 97. And uh, from the very beginning, I have been uh, witnessing the fantastic development of uh, all L'Oreal brands in, uh, in China. And, uh, and we are now the number one beauty company in China. Thanks, and it has always been thanks to a high quality uh, products that uh, that make consumer very satisfied and so now the the next step also in terms of uh, more added value and more quality and more innovation is on the digital side so one way of course is everything we do in terms of communication with our consumers uh, thanks to the the digital way and thanks to e-commerce we can really communicate with the hundreds of millions of consumers in China. But also we are, uh, we are taking in consideration, thanks to digital also, the, the wishes and the needs of consumers. It's, uh, it makes us more easy to understand what consumers want. So we are really, di digital and e-commerce are really now at the heart of the company. In fact, we were one of the first consumer good companies and definitely the first beauty company to start this digital journey uh, already 10 years ago in 2010. Uh, we, uh, we declared in 2010 that it would be the, the year of digital for L'Oreal and it was long before other companies even thought about uh, digital. And from the very beginning, you know, we have invested in terms of uh, recruitment of people, uh, technologies, uh, we were also the, one of the first to to start e-commerce, uh, and uh, and now we are we keeping uh, we keep moving forward, and now the next ambition for L'Oréal is to be what I call the pioneer, the champion, and the leader of the beauty tech world. And what I what I mean by beauty tech is the combination, of course, of beauty and tech and technology. And it is the, uh, the, the association of uh, digital, digital connection with consumers, uh, but also internally uh, within the company, a complete intelligent company using, uh, of course, uh, cloud computing, using data circulation and using artificial intelligence. So we want to be the most advanced uh, beauty tech company uh, in the world. And in this journey, um, Shanghai and China is really uh, very important for us because this is where we are the most advanced in the world.
Uh, our e-commerce business in China is the most advanced of any countries in the world. We are doing now more than 50% of our sales in China on e-commerce. Uh, we have great relationship with, uh, with our great partners and historic partners like, uh, of course, like Tmall, of course, Alibaba, Tmall, but also JDVIP. Uh, you know, for example, we were one of the first companies to partner with, uh, with Tmall many years ago uh, when it started, before the, even the invention of 1111. So uh, on all these aspects, uh, China is really the pilot country for us. And uh, everything that we invent in China with our partners in China, then we can after that replicate uh, in uh, all other countries uh, in the world that are, uh, of course, behind China in terms of digital and e-commerce. And uh, I've always been impressed by Shanghai authorities to a company like L'Oreal. Uh, for example, I, and this is something that I keep repeating everywhere, and especially in France, you know, there is only one country in the world where I know that um, every year uh, the authorities come to see the general manager of the subsidiary and they ask the general manager, uh, what can we do for you? How can we help you? How can we help you develop your business? Uh, are you uh, satisfied with our services and with our teams? And this place, the only place in the world is Shanghai. This kind of uh, attitude uh, never exists in any other country of the world. You know, I've been 42 years at L'Oreal and I have worked in many, many countries and I never experienced something like that in any other country of the world. So I really, uh, I really applaud the attitude of uh, Shanghai authorities and, and also Jing'an authorities that, that were always extremely supportive uh, always uh, helping us, uh, in fact, partnering with us to uh, develop uh, L'Oréal because they know that um, L'Oréal can then, uh, you know, serve the Chinese consumers and develop consumption of beauty products in China with good quality products, very safe products. And that also, uh, you know, even if uh, beauty... Uh, is not uh, the most important category uh, in the world. It's very important in terms of daily happiness and daily quality of life. So I think that this is a very smart uh, decision made by the uh, Chinese and Shanghai authorities. L'Oreal was a, a partner uh, with CIE from the first edition. I remember that uh, I think that I was even the first uh, chairman and CEO to sign a partnership with CIE uh, three years ago before the opening of the first one. So we since the beginning, uh, we, we really support CIE. We think it's a great in, uh, initiative and uh, we have been, uh, you know, fully engaged uh, in, the, uh, in the CIE on the first edition and the second edition. And we are fully engaged also for this edition. So we will come uh, with a full force, uh, with uh, all our teams, uh, all our divisions, all our activities. And uh, I can tell you that we will present more than 100 uh, new products, uh, blockbuster products. Uh, we will present also everything we do in terms of uh, sustainability, responsibility. So we will really uh, offer to all the visitors of CIE a, a complete window on uh, everything we do at L'Oréal in terms of uh, innovation, uh, new developments, technologies, digital activities, sustainability, everything. So it will be, a, and for us, it's a great opportunity to be able to show to all Chinese consumers uh, everything that uh, L'Oréal does in, uh, in China and in the world. Thank you.